Hey, how's it going? Coach Kyle here, and I want to go over a chart with ratings of perceived exertion, RPE, and this is based on the Borg scale. And um, it's how I prescribe most of my clients' workouts and how I kind of do it myself. Uh, like I say here, I very often use RPE as an alternative to pace or heart rate guidelines for how my clients should perform various runs, especially easy runs, and especially runs that are at the beginning of a training cycle, uh, maybe when you're coming off a period of rest uh, after a big race or, or an injury or something like that. Um, when you're not quite as, when your fitness isn't quite as high as you maybe want it to be, I'll, I might use levels of exertion, like um, five times two minutes moderately hard, plus two minutes jog, rather than saying somebody do uh, a pace or a certain distance uh, for those little segments of you know moderately hard running. Um, a benefit of it is that it self-adjusts based on your fatigue level, the terrain, um, the weather. So an easy, an easy effort run after work might be a little slower than a run of the same effort level before work uh, or um in humid versus cool weather or on a hilly or a flat course so it self-adjusts the a risk of having like a, a pace guide like saying okay run nine minute pace for this easy run is that if it's hilly or if you're tired or if you ate too much before the run it's going to feel hard but if you run by to run that nine minute pace. But if you run by effort, if you did a workout the day before, the easy pace today is gonna feel, is gonna be slower and that's okay, that's good. You should slow down, you shouldn't try to run. And, and this, is a, this is a risk of putting in like a, 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 a race time into a running calculator is that you do that race time on a flat course on fresh legs and it says to do a nine minute, and we'll say, you know, nine to nine thirty for your easy runs. Um, but if you're doing a recovery run or it's super humid, you, that nine thirty is going to be too hard. Um, it's not going to be an easy run anymore. So I like using perceived exertion. Uh, and then keep in mind that it's a continuum. So if you're doing a thirty minute tempo run or you're doing five times one mile moderately hard, the first mile is going to be real you know, like brisk but easy. The, the final mile is going to be pretty effortful, and but they should be about the same speed. Um, so let's go through the, the scale here, and it's 1 out of 10. So 10 out of 10 is best effort. It's basically as hard as you can go. And this is, other than the occasional time trial during training, the 9 to 10 out of 10 should rarely be experienced during training. It's basically exclusive to the last, you know, 10 to 20 percent of a race distance um the last half mile of a 5k race the last couple miles of a marathon you know you're just going to be running basically as hard as you can um so he says you can barely breathe and you're only speaking a few words at once you cannot maintain that effort for very long it's just for the end of a best effort run like a time trial or a race now this seven to eight out of ten is quite effortful. It's brisk. Uh, it's nearly uncomfortable. It can become uncomfortable with time. You're short of breath, but able to speak a sentence. So this might be the last 25% of a repeat workout. So if you're doing five times one mile, um, the last 25% of the each mile repeat might be, you know, pretty effortful. Uh, the last 25% of a tempo run. Again, pretty effortful. And then next we have a four to six out of 10. It's moderately effortful. It's a level above easy. Uh, heavy breathing, so, so you, you can you can hear yourself breathing. If somebody was next to you, you'd notice their breathing. Um, you can hold a short conversation. It's still comfortable. The pace is controlled. And again, it can become more challenging over time. So again, this would be the first half, the first 75% of a tempo run, for example. Um, and then two out of three out of 10 is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's normal or nearly normal breathing. 
I often do these, this type of run with my mouth closed and I breathe through my nose. That helps me really dial back, make it a true, easy recovery, regenerative, rejuvenating run. Not something that gets progressively harder over the course of the run. It's not something that um, accumulates fatigue. You should be able to do these types of runs and still recover from your harder long runs that you have done and, and still recover and rejuvenate for upcoming hard or long runs. Um, this makes up the bulk of your training. If you're running 40 miles a week, 30 of it maybe, 35 of it, will probably be at this easy conversational pace. The other five to 10 miles of a 30 or 40 mile week are gonna be in this four to eight range. And so here we have normal sentences, normal conversations. Here we have, where does it say, um, short conversations. Here we have sentences and here we have words. That's the extent of your ability, ability to speak. Um, how a run might go, let's say, for example, you're doing a one mile easy warm up, three miles at a tempo effort, half to full marathon pace, and then a one mile cool down. So you'll start off easy peasy, lemon squeezy, super easy, relaxed. These, and then you go into three miles at tempo effort. Again, half to full marathon pace. Um, the first mile might be at this four out of six. The next mile and a half we'll go to from mile one will be a you know very easy comfortable brisk kind of pace marathon pace we'll say and then you might go into a seven or an eight out of ten for mile two to 2.5 or so um that's not right so mile two to yeah that's right <laughs> and then the last half so mile 2.5 so mile one, the first mile, mile two, mile three might edge up into here, but it'd probably be around a seven or an eight. Um, the pace should be about the same. So if you look at a pace chart, you've got the warm up slow, the uh, or slow <laughs> tempo here. Your effort would go up, your heart rate would go up during the during the tempo effort, but it, it, your pace remains pretty constant, assuming it's a flat course. And then cool down, pace goes down. Easy, peasy, and then squeezy. So that's kind of the range of things. And the nice thing is that if you're doing one mile repeats at a effortful, brisk speed, um, if you do five times one mile, for example, the first three will be mostly here, maybe edge up to seven, and the final two will be maybe around a seven or an eight out of 10. Uh, but again, fairly constant speed. Uh, if you're doing a 30 minute tempo run or, or if you're doing a any to almost any distance of race uh, most of it's going to start here for the first half or so and the edge up to here for the for the next 25 percent maybe the final 25 percent of a good effortful run would be at a eight or nine out of ten so i hope this was helpful uh if you have any questions or comments please let me know this is one of the most important concepts a runner can understand and put into practice is easy runs and appropriately paced and efforted moderate to brisk running. So again, you know, look, look at this once a month to remind yourself of the importance and how the levels should be. And again, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And as always, you keep running, I'll keep coaching.